You have got to be kidding me. Yes, this Sue. Whoa, why is this all so big? <laughs> VHD would initialization fail. Rip. <laughs> Did the Teotaku had lack of videos for like weeks? Let Gabriel answer this question. Mama. Hey guys, Tetel Taku here and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today, I'm gonna be doing something pretty fun. So, we're gonna try to install Windows 10 a Streamlight version 2.2 on a USB flash drive. So, yeah, in case you didn't know what is Windows 10 a Streamlight, it was made by Bob Coney and it was pretty light and it requires 2 gigabytes of Base or something, I'm not sure about that, but on the latest version of Windows 10 Extreme Lite, it has Wi-Fi support, which is a good news. But, I'm gonna try to get Windows 10 Extreme Lite working and boot off of a flash drive. I have a 4GB flash drive, I, I don't know where can I put, where did I put it, the 8GB USB flash drive there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the user folder and go on to a uh, downloads folder. Oh god, Windows 10 is running dark slow because this is a netbook with 1GB of RAM. So this is a Lenovo IdeaPad S10 III that was featured in my maintenance video of this netbook. So, yeah, I have Windows 10 Extreme Light version 2.2 ISO. And there is a Pilmo browser for some reason. I already installed it like months ago. I'm not sure. And we have Notepad++. Set up here, so we're gonna try to install Notepad Plus Plus first. Come on, yes, please. Whoa, why is this all so big? <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Yes, Notepad Plus Plus has been installed. Finish, please. And then I'm gonna install Win2USB. Yes, please. Right, let's just install Win2USB. I7, next, next, next. Next, yeah, yeah, bad, 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 bad. All right, done. All right, now let's let's try to modify the ini five. Oh no, Microsoft Edge. No, go away. Let's go on to this PC. Oh, it's just me and my sis. I don't go now. All right, let's go on to my partition. Oh god, six point nine five gigs left. Uh oh, we saw sixty nine. Lenny face. Go well, program files and then go on to Win to USB S86 for 32 bit. I have 32 bit windows. I'm gonna find a bin and then we're gonna gonna run that thing here with Notepad plus plus. Hmm, let's zoom in for you guys. So all right, on the settings, version 3.5.22. Yes, check on startup one language count 17. Yeah, so. Minimum VHD size should be should be 14 on default. So, so on on MTD 7999's video about installing Tiny 7 on the flash drive. So he he tried to get Tiny 7 working on the USB flash drive. So yeah. So I'm gonna do the same with Windows 10 Extreme Lite by Bob Pony. So let's see if it does work. Fingers crossed. So let's just change to oh oh god. As in the remove equal. So let's just put one for now. Let's save. The file cannot be saved and it may be protected. Do you want to launch Notepad Plus Plus in administrator mode? Yes, this soon. Ah, oh, come on, using account control again. It's gonna take a while because this is a netbook. Yeah, okay. Oh, minimum VHD size one. It's all good. Save. Let's just go ahead and run Win to USB. Let's go. Come on, run it. The, oh god, Microsoft Edge. No, 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 no. Screw that sh**. Alright, let's browse the image file. Win 10 Lite V2. Next. Ah god, thunderstorm. So Windows 10 Extreme Lite should, should take less space. Let's see here. So I'm gonna pull the camera out. What the heck happened to my screen? <laughs> it's so hard to fix, but yeah. So there we go, we found it. Okay. Oh yeah, Windows 10 Pro. Ah, come on. What? <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Windows 10 Live V2. Oh, come on. Hmm. 
Which bar? Oh god. I need to restart Win to USB. Crap. There we go. Now we have the next button enabled. There we go. Mm, select the des destination disk. My flash drive. You have got to be kidding me. Stop! Aha! There we go. Oh my god, I need to change the minimum VHD size on the actual bin folder itself instead of x86 folder itself. RIP! <laughs> Clumsy me. So after you select the USB flash drive, it says Windows performance might be impacted if you, if you use this USB flash drive to create a Windows to go workspace. So uh, MBR for BIOS. Yes. This may take several minutes, so this flash drive is empty, so yeah, so it's time to wait until I can get my laptop back so I can play also or edit this video. There's hope that Windows update would not ruin my day on this netbook. <laughs> oh god, my netbook is such a potato. Anyway, my HP laptop, <laughs> my HP netbook is also a potato though, <laughs> so it's gonna take a while to format, but yeah, this is gonna take forever. Uh! <laughs> Alright, we're into the system partition part. I mean the partition part, partitioning part. So in default, it's a VHDX probably. So I set to VHD for now. So um, uh, I'm just gonna leave this the default. So yeah, let's just go ahead and install it. Oh, interesting. Win to USB does have this mark here. It says shut down the computer when the operation is completed. So I might check that if I wanted to, but not right now. But yeah. So I'm just gonna let Windows 10 Extreme Lite version 2.2 installed, and yeah, I'll get back to you once once it's done. Twenty minutes later. Ah, oh, what the heck? Screen issue came back. No. I'm gonna try to fix it. It's okay, bud. No, no, please don't come back. Ah, come on, don't come back. Ah, oh, come on. Why? Why you do this to me, Mr. Screen? <laughs> come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was a pretty stupid way to get the screen nice and probably fixed. Uh. Come on, do it for Gabriel. Ah! One hour later. Can you please install faster on a flash drive? Tee -hee! Okay, I'm done. Whoops. <laughs> I just threw my phone. Crap. Eventually. Look at it. It's done. This came back in. Oh no. <laughs> Noise. So it's time to close that out and. Go on to this PC and oh, 723 megabytes left. <laughs> oh, uh, rip space. But yeah, I don't care, so I'm gonna try that anyway. Eject. There we go. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut down my netbook and get back to you guys. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm gonna use my Comp Episario V3000 for this test, so yeah. This is the compact one with the Intel Pentium T2080 if I remember correctly or 2060. Yeah, Comp Episario V3000, yeah. This thing doesn't have a hard drive because the original hard drive that that was in this thing is in my laptop. I'm so worried that my 7200 RPM hard drive is so tired. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and yeah. So this thing does actually power on, so let's just plug in. I'm not gonna plug a USB flash drive yet. Oh, I need to hit F10 to get to the setup. Plug my wireless mouse receiver. Um, okay, it reset it back to 2006, so let's see. Today is April of 13. Oh, 13, please. Ah, come on. 2017, yes. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, got time and date, set it up right. Let's go ahead and plug the Windows 10 Extreme Light USB, portable USB. 
So, yeah. Brace yourselves! Oh, damn, that this, though. There's hopes. Oh! There we go. We can see Windows logo. VHD boot initialization fail. Rip. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. Flash was like throwing the satania on my face there. <laughs> yep. Rip. <laughs> oh. Screw you. Blue screen. Day two. Okay, so here's the next day. I'm not sure why this screen looks like this. So that doesn't go away after some time. Pretty sure about that. But yeah. I'm gonna choose Legacy this time and VHDX does not support the free version of Win2USB You need to have mm, the professional version of Win2USB in order to make VHDX to work but overall I'm gonna say Legacy for now Let's just hit next and let's see if the second time really is a charm 3 hours later Oh yeah there we go so let's just go ahead and exit Win to USB and I'm gonna leave this netbook running and so I'm gonna safely eject my flash drive, which is my 4GB USB, by the way. Come on. There we go. Let's hope that it works later. Alright, take two. In goes the 4GB flash drive. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's booting. 24 gigabyte flash drive. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it gonna work? Oh, the fans kicking. Oh god, my nephew is making some st stupid noises there. <laughs> so that will interrupt my recording there. <laughs> what the heck? It's time for the time lapse mode. Let's start with region. Is this right? Oh, I think this is the creator's update version of Windows 10 Extreme Lite. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is this right? I'm not American. I'm Malaysian. Boop. 
Yes. So I think the new, latest version of Windows 10 Extreme Live, actually based on previous update. Oh, US, yeah. That's the right keyboard layout. I want to add a second keyboard layout. Nope. Whew, finally, we're in. Hmm. License agreement. Oh, during the Windows 10 Extreme Live setup, you don't get license agreement there. <laughs> That is super weird. Alright, network. I'm gonna blur that out because there's my sister's name on the Wi-Fi. Oh, never mind. Who's going to use this PC? Alright, give me a moment there. Yeah. Uh. Alright, there we go. Oh, I haven't seen the Creators Update out of box experience before in real life. So, yeah. Choose privacy settings for your device. Hmm. Relevant ads? Oh hell no. Location? No. Diagnostics? Uh, no. Ah, uh, basic. There we go. Telex experience with diagnostic data? No. Speech recognition? No. There we go. Oh, now it's gray. Huh, great. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, it's preparing windows. I'll be right back. One hour later. Sorry that I have to mute this clip due to the background noises. I just don't like my nephew rambling random things while I was recording this clip. But yeah, Windows 10 Extreme Lite version 2.2 has been installed successfully on a 4GB USB flash drive. As I said, I am testing this on my Compact Presario V3000 with no hard drive. Specs wise, if you can't remember, here it is. It has an Intel Pentium T2080 dual core CPU clock at 1.73 gigahertz, one and a half gigs of DDR2 RAM, and of course, this is a 32-bit only supported laptop. Bob Pony claims that Windows 10 Extreme Lite version 2.2 is taking up to two gigabytes of space, and his claim is true. That's why I call the lightest Windows 10 install ever. I will play around with Windows 10 Extreme Lite version 2.2 tomorrow if I have more time to waste. But yeah, that wraps up part 1 and for part 2 and I will be installing programs I need on this just to see if it works and that will be my portable Windows 10 flash drive. Oh also, if you would like to download Windows 10 Extreme Lite version 2.2 by Bob Pony, there is a download link in the description. So yeah, I would like to thank my fellow viewers for watching and yeah, thumbs up if you enjoy anime puns in this tech video and yeah, peace. The Tell Taku signing out.